the deal? One minute we're having breakfast, and the next you tear off on your mega. Yeah, I mean, I said I was sorry. It wasn't my fault. It was Pronto's cooking. It takes an iron stomach to digest casserole a la molinoid. That's not why I took off. Well, not the main reason. <laughs> I couldn't help it when I saw it. It's really real. No way. The Enigmo Slug actually exists. This isn't sitting well. Ooh, you might want to clear out. Now, Ooh. Enigmo Slug? Never heard of it. What's it do that's so special? Nobody knows. Everyone always thought the Enigma Slug was just a legend. This is probably the last one in existence. Nobody's ever seen one transform. So if we hurry, we can be the first to fire it and find out. Even better, we can be the first to get that on video. This place is incredible. It's nice to see parts of Slug Terror that are still unspoiled. <laughs> so much for being unspoiled. Huh? And so much for being the first to get here. Slug Hunters, and they're after the Enigma. there before they destroy this entire jungle. No way. Second you get some of that mushroom salad in your mecha's gears, it's gonna go all <laughs> Then I guess we're going on foot cord. Come on. Come on. Slug hunting on foot. So uncivilized. Ah, no. This is how you do it. Yeah, if you don't really care about getting the Enigma. Oh, but we are quite eager to have it. Hmm. As soon as one of you finds it, we'll be here to buy it for a very fair price. I wouldn't exactly call that fair. More like a crazy, insane mechload of money! Oh, with such riches, we could do much good for Bronto. Oh, I could finally get a new mecha beast with a comfy seat and less attitude. Or a bejeweled handbag with a comb pocket. No, wait! A new scarf! Bronto, snap out of it! That is a lot of gold. I don't know if I could sell it. Oh, I doubt you'll have the chance. There's already a lot of competition. But if you do manage to catch it first, we'll be here waiting. Yeah, yeah, get going. No one's gonna pay two tons of gold for you. Hey, you almost flattened us. Let me do the talking tricks. Look, we're all eager to find the Enigma, but maybe there's a less, you know, blowy uppy way to do it. Hey, you know what? This kid's right. 
Instead of using hop rocks, it'd be quicker to use flaringos and burn these trees down. <laughs> <laughs> How about next time, Eli? I do the talking. Definitely. Pronto! Tazelings behind you! <laughs> On it! <laughs> That didn't work. Sorry about that. I want to go home now. Look, I think I saw the Enigma crawl under there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro! Oh, never mind. Just a crummy leaf. <laughs> okay, that was not cool. Huh? Whoa! Now that's a serious trap. <laughs> and that is really not cool. Huh. What kind of slug are you? Slugs live here, not just the Enigma. You're tearing their cave to shreds. And look at this. It could have killed this slug. Uh, Eli? And that's the Enigma. <gasps> huh? And that is my trap. Stalker? Uh, I didn't know you were here, too. We won't get in your way. Leave. Now. <laughs> so, you did the talking this time? Are you crazy? That's Gerhold Stalker, the deadliest game hunter in Slug Terra. He doesn't do talking. They say if you see him, it's already too late. Hence why he is called SBD. Silent, but deadly. <laughs> Sorry, where I'm from, silent but deadly means something else. He's right behind me now, huh? The Enigma Slug. And my trap. Now. Hey, I found him fair and square before he fell into your trap. I didn't come here to play fair. I came here for the slug with a two-ton payday. <laughs> I knew you should have done the talking. Split up! You want this slug? Okay, well, here it comes! I missed it when you fired the Enigma. You gotta tell me what it looked like when it transformed. I can't. Why not? Cause I kinda couldn't see it. Where'd they go? 
Don't ask me. Cord, Eli got hit by the Enigmo, and now his eyes aren't working right. Actually, I can see plenty. In fact, I think I'm seeing twice as much as I should. Here they come! <laughs> Did I get him? Yeah. I'll take that as a no. Huh? Come on! I would suggest that perhaps we move along. Stalker could be anywhere. Yeah. Right behind you. Stalker is almost as legendary as Pronto. Yeah, but for entirely different reasons. Of course! Pronto is known for his undisputed magnificence, and Stalker is known for his traps. He's probably seeded this very cave with them. That is why you all must walk in the footsteps of Pronto's expert. Ah, you see? I found one. This locking mechanism's way high tech, but I think I see how to engineer a workaround. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I suggest that with Eli utterly and completely useless... Dude, I can still hear, you know. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I would still suggest we leave before Stalker can find us. We can't leave. The Enigma did this to Eli, and there's no telling if it will ever wear off on its own. Huh? We need to find the Enigma to figure out how to cure him. Yeah, if Stalker doesn't have it already. Oh, I assure you, he does not. What makes you say that? Because it is right over there. <laughs> and it's playing on a tripwire! Huh? I got it! <laughs> you okay? Just a slug trank dart. You know how many of these it would take to bring down a cave troll? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Court! Come on, we've got to get the Enigma before they do. But we can't just leave them. Stalker wants the Enigma, not Cord. He will be here when we return. The Enigma is close. Keep your eyes peeled. Currently the wrong guy for that job. Maybe a little zoom action will help. Yes, there it is! Ugh, is this the dumbest slug in history? No wonder there's only one of them left. Okay, Pronto, it's all on you. Go! Whoa! Yeah. track only frightened prey. If we stay still and show no fear, they will not menace us. You see? Uh, no. Now, we go for the Enigma. Uh, with confidence. Just ignore the hounds' razor-sharp teeth, their piercing eyes, their claws that could so easily rip you to shreds. <laughs> Ah! 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 
What happened? Did you get the Enigma? Yes. Huh? I did. That's it? You're just gonna walk away? Finish him. Wait! I wasn't complaining. I was just asking. <laughs> Don't worry, Burpee. Just have to show him we're not afraid. Of course, that'd be easier if I wasn't quite so scared. Dogs can't climb trees. Huh? <sighs> but apparently slug hounds can. Chiller, spinner, I need you. <laughs> spinner, you're up. can't really see much of anything. And if you leave with the Enigma, you're taking the best shot I've got to fix that and find my way out, and find my friends. I know that slug is worth a ton of gold to you, but it's worth a whole lot more than that to me. So as long as I can stand, I'm not giving up. You talk too much. That's not what I wanted. I can see! Maybe too much. have traps hidden all over, but I've got the best secret weapon in this cave. Whoa! Sure glad you make good traps there, buddy. Now, got anything you want to say to Enigma before you never see him again? Didn't think so. Come on, let's get our friends and get out of here.
So wait, the most legendary slug of legend basically just messes your eyes up and then fixes them when it hits you again? But imagine hitting the other guy with it first. It would totally take him out of the fight. And even though I couldn't see straight, it was almost like it was letting me see more than normal. Like it was showing me something else. Ah, so you're saying there's more to Enigma than meets the eye? Well, yeah. If you want to put it in the lamest way possible, <laughs> sure. Look, I believe that our <coughs> mechas should be right through there. <gasps> oh, now this is a surprise. Let me guess, you were expecting Stalker? <laughs> he might be a while. You're welcome to wait for him, but he doesn't have this. <laughs> Well done. Name your price. Well, considering what me and all my friends just went through, I don't think I'm leaving one of them behind. Uh, and as one of those friends, I say you're completely wrong. Think of what that money could do for Brando. Our card for when you change your mind. Thanks, but you may be waiting a while for that one too. Uh, no, you won't. Uh, I will convince him. Uh, Eli, stop! Uh, think of all the things we could buy. The foot massagers, uh, the neck warmers, ruby-plated pimple poppers! <sighs> Floppy stuffed tushy pillows? You know, I thought about it, and blowing up Black's refinery without a plan wasn't smart. Now you have second thoughts? Nope. Just said it wasn't smart. But I mean, come on. Those fireworks were awesome. Phew. <laughs> it was pretty cool when the place went. <laughs> Now we just need to quietly slip out of this cavern and we're home free. One problem huh? with that, Eli. How are we supposed to slip out with these everywhere? Okay, you know what? This is unacceptable. Even Pronto thinks this is bad. Bad? It, it's horrible. Where is the bravado? The genius. Ah. See? Now, that is a wanted poster. Hate to rush an artist at work, but we need an exit. Which is precisely why I, in my wisdom, have led us here. Uh, to a dead end? No cord, not to a dead end! <laughs> to our daring escape route! What is this place? Why, the flumes, of course. The Under River. No, no, I was uh, quite the nautical mole in my day. What day was that? <laughs> mm, I think it was a Tuesday. I've heard of this place, a waterway under Slug Terra. Most people stopped using it when I was a kid. They're coming! And we've got nowhere to run! Our mechs and swim for it? I got a better idea. Cool. Wow. Show off. I modded yours too. The yellow button. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Shane Gang are heading south in the flumes. 
I didn't know a meth beast could shred like this. Oh, there's a lot these babies can do. I just wish they could also keep me dry. Dude, for real? You don't like water? Let's just say I take one bath a year and uh, it's under protest, all right? Yes, and I protest you only taking one bath a year. <laughs> so hardly anyone uses the flumes anymore? Why? Ah, who wants wet, wetty wetness when you can ride in luxury on this like Kelvin Express? Sense tells him that the worst is over. You had to say it. Hands in the air, princesses! You trespassers face Malvolio Drake, master of the Cavern Seas! Whoa, 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 wait! So we didn't mean to trespass. We just kind of, um, ended up here. Here is Undertow Cavern, princesses, where the business belongs to yours truly. What business is that? <laughs> well, I look like to you, an accountant, a basket weaver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the pirate racket, and if you want to pass, the ransom is half your slugs. <laughs> and if we refuse? Then I'll be a few slugs poorer. And you'll be shot too! <laughs> Not if they can't catch us! That's the plan, Eli? Come on! Our mecha's gotta be faster than a huge honking boat like that! I don't think the ship is trying to catch up to us! Mr. Watts! Yes, Captain. Show them what a barrage of frost crawlers can do! They've got cannons? Don't tell me they fire! We put so much distance between us, we're out of range. I think. Don't say it. We're in the clear. <laughs> We have got to stop saying that kind of stuff. Ready, Burpee? Well, that is exactly what I was going to do. Not so tough without your cannons, huh? huh? Can I take that back? Give it everything we've got! <laughs> oh no! Run! We have 
considered your offer, and we'll happily give you some of our slugs now. Ha! Nice try, Morpheus, but the price has gone up. Now it's all your slugs. And your enthusiastic servitude. Nothing personal, princesses. <laughs> this can't get any worse. Ugh. Yeah, it can. I can't feel my toes. I'm pretty sure some of these barnacles have barnacles. This is impossible. But that's because on a ship, you must scrub counterclockwise. <laughs> now, listen to me, and I will tell you in excruciating detail exactly what you're doing wrong and how I know better. And you said this couldn't get any worse. Attention, deck monkeys. Captain Drake on deck. <laughs> I thought you said this wasn't personal. Don't flatter yourself, princess. I'm a pirate, making you do my chores for me. It's just another day at the office. Doesn't seem like you're doing a good job, though. That's what Proto was saying. It should be done counterclockwise, like... <laughs> 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 now this one is wasted on deck monkey duties. <laughs> you see? A man who recognizes seafaring skills. Yeah, I do, and you don't got any. But on the cold, empty sea, good distractions are hard to find. Uh, How would you like to be my new cabin mole? <laughs> A promotion. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, what sort of perks come with the title? The perk of not being tossed to the sharks over that there plank! Give him the heave all, boys! Ah! Oi, that's cold! In that case, I humbly accept. Now then, the reason I graced you lot with my presence, it's time to get down to the real business. <laughs> of all my ill-gotten treasure, this is the prize of my collection. Behold, every toenail clipping I've had since pirate school. Beautiful, ain't it? <sighs> Why would you do that? Because every part of me is special. Toenails are no exception. <laughs> Burpee! You guys okay? <clears throat> You've got hundreds of slugs in there. What do you even need them all for? For? For having the most slugs. That's how you play the pirate game. Guy with the most slugs wins. <laughs> Don't! Stay away from my Mimki princess. This little guy is more valuable than all you deck monkeys put together. And don't even think about trying anything other than cataloging my collection. Fang will be watching. Now get to work, deck monkeys! Ah, so, uh, just deck monkeys then, not cabin moles. Oh no, I got something much better for you, mole face. Oh, <laughs> better? Ah! Oh, oh, Rondo does not want to be cabin mole anymore. Make it stop. Make it stop! <laughs> ah! Huh? Ah! Oh, no, no. Okay, so even if we got past Fang, our mechas are locked away and we're surrounded by sharks and pirates. Yeah, and worst of all, while we're down here, Pronto's up there partying. This isn't Pronto's fault, it's mine. I got us into this by attacking that refinery without a plan. You are harboring persons wanted by Dr. Black. Turn them over and you will not be harmed. Sounds like an opportunity to make an exit. Wait, maybe we should come up with a plan first? Fire cannons. How's this plan? Hang on! <laughs> It's locked. We're trapped. Burpee, you guys all right? Burpee? It's one of Black's ships. The only way we're getting out of here is if they blast us out. <laughs> Guess we can go now. Mr. Pirate, get me down! Why? You're drawing the fire perfectly 
up there. <laughs> but I'm your cabin mole. Yeah, and you're doing what cabin moles are good for, providing a distraction. <laughs> Can put Big Daddy Drake out of business with that train of his? What makes you think you can start now? You losers! Better learn what's mine stays mine! That's not exactly true, sir. The prisoners are escaping, and they've got our treasure. Well, except for the toenails. He pirated me? You don't pirate a pirate! That's a double pirate! Blast them! We have to reload before we can fire. Then do it now! You gotta get these running. We're not going anywhere. We'll cover you. <laughs> what do you say? Think he suffered enough? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Captain Molpronto, reporting for duty. Oh. <laughs> Cannons reloaded, sir. Mr. Watts, you know how I always say it's a waste to sink a ship when you can capture the crew? Yes, sir. Feel free to waste this one. None of them are getting out of this alive. Ready, aim, and fire! <laughs> hey, we got power! Then let's go! Blast them into pulp! Yeah! <laughs> Haven't seen a battle plan this for since pirate school! Bring us three degrees, starboard, and we've got him! He's gonna slug us to pieces! All right, we're outgunned, outmanned, and facing a ship twice our size. Don't worry, this time, I've got a plan. We lose him in that fog bank ahead. Hang on, everyone! He's headed for the breakers. He'll never make it through. This fool's even more clueless than I thought. Put us around the other side, and we'll clean up after. I should have tried this planning thing years ago. Rocks! <laughs> Eli? Seems to work for him. Uh, how's it going? Well, let's see. Uh, you stole my treasure, broke my ship, but here's where I out pirate you. Sir, she's going down. If we want to live to play the pirate game another day. If my ship goes down, I go with it, and so does he! Well, captain's off the deep end, boys. Unless you fancy being shark food, we've got to take that other boat. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
This one's all yours. How did you... That's what a Mimki does, Princess! Perfectly mimics anything a slug can do! <sighs> <laughs> Look! There's our rides! Relying on a powerful slug like that Infernus is normally an excellent battle plan. But not when you're up against my Mimki! <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of new at this whole planning thing. Let's go! Go. Oh, did you honestly think I'd use Burpee again? Huh. I guess I'm getting better at this planning thing after all. Hey, Eli! So, what do you think of Drake's new boat? <laughs> Cute. Your despicable behavior brings shame to the tradition of tavern mowling. So, I quit. Remember, counterclockwise. Nothing personal, princess. No! Miss Lugs, come back with me, treasure! You can't! You know, Eli, with all of Drake's captured slugs, you could have yourself one heck of an arsenal. You're right. I could. But that's not how I play the pirate game. So, how do you want to get back home? I guess we could take the flumes now that those pirates are out of business. Oh, no. No way! I've had enough water to last me five years with the showers. You really want to smell what happens when I don't shower for ten? Let's take the road. Yeah, road. The road sounds good. The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge, and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real, and after years of searching, I, Garivel, have found the way. If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make history. He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good.
Morning, Eli. Trix, I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with this. Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition! Has anyone seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slugs. No mechs! No molinoids! Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold! Oh, there will be gold, of course! We must go and hear this Ravel out! For exploration! Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should, uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please! Please, please, please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! Uh, I, I mean go. Great! Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah, you see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. Uh, 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 four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. <gasps> Watch yourself, Molinoid. <laughs> Eli, that's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. And I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope, uh, we're fine. Sorry. No problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trex, stop helping. You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people! No! No, stop it! You're ruining everything!
such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm... Eli Shane! Of course you are, of course you are! <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Just excellent. Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail! Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that... Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These were the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then, I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. Uh, try to get rid of them, so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. I know you guys must think I'm crazy, but I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. Had to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand, right? You made the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. The Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A uh, Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join Gar's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract. <laughs> my own concoction from my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. <laughs> I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many, and even in those who don't, most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. 
maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? Uh, but that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. <laughs> help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. <laughs> After him! All my research is in that book! <laughs> Tell the men, grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. Yeah. Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me! I gotta win at least one game. Eh, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Eh, uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Drag us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure of their fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre. <laughs> not today. Listen to me, all of you. You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key. First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! I think there's even more of them than before. Burpee, man the auto blasters. <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli! My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now is not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah, you mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You're joking, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Time, 
Eli. We can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No. I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again... <laughs> they never seem to listen to me. In a million dollars. Suckers! Come on out, Gar! You wanted me, now you got me! It's <laughs> over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point blank range? I don't think so. Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! <laughs> 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 Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. Uh, wait, it's not over. Uh, this is just a setback. They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't. I I'll find another way. You Go just need... Go away, Gar. It's over. Wait, wait. Where are you going? You just need to get... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened. It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane's secrets, right? I want to show you something. When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the drop. It's how I got here. It leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Uh, the burning world? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's going to be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Uh, are there molinoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? Trixie, go right. Pronto, cord. You're with me. Wait! For Pronto! There's no way out. Hand it over. Grab him! 
Trajectory. Pronto? What do you know about the place? Oh, you will never find a more foul and wretched establishment. But the soup is good. Also, it is a dead end. That's what I wanted to hear. Everyone wait here. I'll go in and flush him out. Uh, perhaps he is trying the soup? Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Follow me if you want to live. and trajectory. <laughs> Insolent pipes. That is what you get for impeding the progress of Pronto. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Who are you? Name's Twist. Eli Shane. Up on your left, Eli. <laughs> Oh, two for one? Nice. And I know who you are. Three for one. <laughs> Who's counting? Down here. Where'd they go? One chance. Drop them. What is that? Black's main enforcer in this cavern. Seriously bad dude. We should probably run. Not a bad idea. This thing has no bottom. Uh -oh. That was our only way out. Any ideas? Yep. Dazzle him, Loki. Guess it does have a bottom. Is that a thuglet slug? Oh, I've heard of him. Never seen one before. Yeah, he's my number one. Aren't you, Loki? I like that you name your slugs. Well, hey you seems kind of casual for guys that save my bacon on a regular basis. I mean, this isn't my first run-in with Black's goon squad. They're regrouping. I've got a place nearby where we can chill until things cool down. Isn't that redundant? <laughs> That's funny. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 
Sorry about the mess. I'm just staying here till my mansion is painted. This place is great! A panoramic view, high ground advantage. I imagine you've got the place rigged with booby traps and a secret bolt hole in case things go bad. Wouldn't you? So, that dude you were chasing earlier, what's up with that? He's one of Black's couriers. He's the last piece of intel we need for a major operation. Eli, uh, we just met this guy. Yeah, while he was busy saving our lives and risking his own while doing it. For which we're very grateful. But if Black gets wind of what we're I doing... I know you've got no reason to, but you can trust me. It's a layout of a ghoul depot. Black has them all over Slug Terra. Yeah, I've heard of them. We figure if we can liberate all the ghouls inside, my healer slug doc can cure them, which would mean a lot fewer black minions armed with ghouls. Only problem is, we can't find any of them. We've got the layout, but no locations. Yeah, thought we'd get one from the courier until that plan went sideways. Good thing you met me then, because I know exactly where to find one. Oh yeah, that is definitely one of them. Lightly guarded too. We'll be in and out of this place in time for breakfast. When you say we, I mean all of us. What do you say? Up for being a pain in Dr. Black's butt? Sounds fun. Count me in. Good. We regroup and make our move tomorrow. Black won't know what hit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, your place is a lot more comfortable than mine. Yeah, my dad left this hideout pretty well stocked. Speaking of which... <laughs> Dinner is served. It is my dear Grand Mole's recipe. May she rest in peace. Stand on the claw! Ow! Matters, Pronto. Guests eat first. Pronto has the right idea, Trixie. Out on the street, it's every man and molinoid for himself. Am I right? Oh, so true. Forget about eating first. You're lucky if you eat at all. Please, I insist. Wow, I don't think I've eaten this well in my life. You do this every night? My dad always said the Shane Gang had a big family meal before an important operation. I figure it's about time we revisit that tradition. It's certainly a first for me. <sighs> Get back! Hey! What is this? You wasted delicious cavern crawler claw on, 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 on your slugs? A happy slug is a healthy slug. And a healthy slug wins duels. <laughs> Loki! I can see you love these little guys as much as I do. I hate the way Black twists them into monsters. We're gonna change that. Speaking of twist, how'd you get that name, if you don't mind me asking? I'll show you. You're a pretty big guy, but there is no way you can keep a hold of me. <laughs> Obviously you've never heard of a cave troll channel luck. Try me. Hmm. Huh? What? Ow! Cool moose twist. Impressive to you, perhaps, but Molinoids are well known for their evasive maneuvers. You want to go next? Another time, perhaps. You have any family, Twist? It's a long story, and, uh, at the end of it, I don't know what happened to them. Loki and the other slugs are my family now. We've all lost someone, Twist. Uh, that's what makes us family. You're welcome to our table anytime. And speaking of time, it's zero hour. The troll is right on time. This should be a piece of cake. Showtime, Loki. Whoa. 
Man, that's convincing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, go! We must have got loose. Grab it. The think we need backup? Don't be such a baby. How do you even get this job? <laughs> Things going nuts. Oh. Don't let go. I told you not to let go! Sorry! I panicked! Video hackers planted. Loki's almost as sneaky as me. Now their eyes are our eyes. <laughs> nice. Nice of Black to use the same layout for all his depots. Makes our job even easier. Something's wrong with this. Wrong how? I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on it, but something. Uh, I don't see anything wrong. How about you, Eli? Everything looks green to me, but keep your eyes open, people. I trust Korg's instincts. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably nothing. Loki's in place. Let's move. Slug runner to Bunhead. We're in position. Bunhead? I'm supposed to be Eagle Eyes. <sighs> Perimeter's clear, but there's four guards inside the first door. Go! <laughs> You catch that slug ball game last night? I've got the key card. We're in. Sweet. I'll get the mechas ready. I still don't know how you managed to fit into that suit. You don't want to know. This is it. Right where the blueprint said. Careful. Watch that one on the right. Nice work, Loki. You can lose the illusion now. I still don't like this. Let's get out of here. We're almost clear. Get ready to saddle up. Finally! This cursed costume is so itchy. And it stinks as bad as a cave troll. Uh, pronto. Oh. <laughs> Hello, you. Huh? And that must be Trixie with the mechas. Right on time. Uh-oh. What is it? Not Trixie with the mechas. It's Diablo Snacho. <laughs> Nacho? I thought you said he'd be miles from here. That's what my intel told me. So much for the perfect plan. We're not getting out of here without a fight, are we? Perhaps I can find another exit. You've seen the blueprint. There is no other exit. Fight it is, then. I like your style. Wait for my move, then run out slinging hard. Stay alive and get these ghouls home safe. Okay, Trixie. Showtime! Yes. Blast them, you fools! This way! Wait! Cover me! Okay, go! What are you waiting for? Likewise.
Does it seem like there's a lot more of these guys than our intel suggested? Two for one. But who's counting? Where are you? To you, banger. for you, Twist? Yeah. Let's throw this clown a beating he'll never forget. <laughs> Funny kids, you'll die laughing. Gonna stay in one piece for long. We can't afford a firefight. If one stray slug hits that pen, we're gonna have a nasty mess of loose ghouls. I know a hidden path. That is what I do, you see. Point the way when all seems lost. You see, we are safe and the ghouls are. You can thank me later. There's no way we can web up all these ghouls. I've got this, guys. Loki, give me an Ouroboros special. Oh, wow! Awesome, Loki. Okay, Doc. Time to do your stuff. This could take a while. <laughs> well done, Doc. Get some sleep. You earned it. <laughs> Twist, you and Loki were amazing today. Slugs needed help. I helped. No big deal. Very big deal. You should be one of us. You proved that today. You're Shane Gang. You're family. If it means more dinners like last night, count me in. Seriously, though. Thanks. It's been a long time since I felt like part of a family. Other than my slugs, of course. We're lucky to have you, Twist. Also because... The Shane Gang is gonna need all the help it can get. Ooh, what do you have planned this time? 
I've realized hitting ghoul depots isn't gonna have any lasting effect on Black. We need something that can put him out of the ghoul business for good. We need to get at the very thing that Black is using to make them in the first place. What do you know about Darkwater, Twist? I've heard a few things, and if that's what you're going after, I know exactly how to do it. But I'm gonna have to talk to an old friend. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Let's go. Wish you could come along, Eli, but he doesn't trust strangers. I've got to do this solo. I get it. See you soon, then. Be safe. I should blast you where you stand. I lost a lot of precious ghouls today. <laughs> so did I. And now you come to me with a request? What makes you think this will work? Because they trust me. Yes. But the question is, should I? Who are you? Name's Twist. Is that a thuglet slug? Yep, dazzle a Loki. You should be one of us. You proved that today. Your shame gang. Your family. What makes you think this will work? Because they trust me. You know, some people say we've lost some of that rustic outer cabin flavor with the Slug Terror Express. And personally, I'm on the same page as Black. I think a little civilization is just what these areas need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'll be a good boy and bring out some more of those delicious little breadsticks, won't you? Of course, sir. I'll have those right out to you. <sighs> Not sure what annoys me more, the snooty passengers or this disguise. Ah, quit complaining. This was your plan, remember? Got the security card. Let's do it then. Can everyone read me? Naturally, and as always. In position. We're good to go, Eli. Okay, then let's go steal ourselves a train. Here's what we know. Tomorrow night, Dr. Black is moving a shipment of dark water to a secure facility. This isn't your average mark. Black's not taking chances. We're talking armed guards, private train, the works. We hit Black less than two days ago. Shouldn't he be regrouping? Twist? The opposite. If anything, Black's stepping up his game. You guys cut off his supply when you took out the deadweed mine, but he's still got plenty. Twist intel suggests that Darkwater is being moved from Black's Fortress to a depot in the Outer Caverns. Don't blame him. I wouldn't want to live on top of that stuff. This is it, guys. We pull this off, and we put Dr. Black out of the ghoul business for good. Let's oh, do it! Yes! Hmm. Cord? Cord? Huh? You listening? Uh, sorry, what? The mission briefing? Uh, sorry, I'm still thinking about the ghoul depot. Doesn't make any sense. I shut down the security grid, then Twist went in, and Diablos appeared behind us. But how'd he even know we were there? Let it go, Cord. Eli needs you in the game. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, man. Whatever you guys need. Schedule to keep you lazy. Cave? Troll? So formal. Call me Cord. Twist? Lose the extra baggage. <laughs> well, I know I'll be asking for a refund. I'll say it. It sounds risky, Eli. Even for us. You brought us the intel, Twist. What do you think? If it was me, 
I'd never try anything this crazy, but if Eli thinks we can pull it off and it means sticking it to Dr. Black, I'm behind him, 100%. Then this is our target. Three miles from the shipment, an express train carrying some of the richest collectors in Slug Terra. I don't get it. How does stealing one train help us steal another? Same as any magic trick worth its salt. <laughs> don't shoot! Misdirection. <laughs> uh, well, yes, we certainly fooled them. Nice. Now, back to the plan. About time you boys came along. Can't seem to get this darn thing a moving. Try it now. Well, this is a head-scratcher, old-timer. Might have a part in the train that could help. Well, son of a gun! Can you believe I've been using the wrong key this whole time? This is Trixie. I bought you ten minutes. Headed your way now. About time. You were supposed to get here ten minutes ago. Yeah, sorry about that. Little trouble with the train. You want a repair crew to take a look? No, we got it. It was the, uh, engine thing. It's all good now. Well, see ya. What do you want? Sorry we're late. Some old geezer had a breakdown on the tracks. Where's the cargo? <sighs> I better get a move on. Black wants his shipment to the depot on time. Afraid this train's gonna be a little late. <laughs> no ticket! <clears throat> Good to have you back with us, Trix. Thanks. But they'll have figured out we switched the engines by now. We should get moving. Full throttle, Cord. It's all up to Pronto now. First of all, I would like to say, I am honored to receive the role most integral to this plan's very success. Great. Then let's go over it again, buddy. Just so long as I'm still key mole in this plan. You're pushing now. Pushing to the front of the pack. <laughs> as key mole. Perhaps some commemorative team <sighs> would be I told important. you not to contact me here. The boss just wants to check in is all. You've made him certain assurances. I have everything under control. Don't call again. He says he's got everything under control, boss. He'd better, for his sake. Here they come! Just stick to the plan, and we'll be fine! <laughs> <laughs> You hit that emergency brake, and we're through. They're gaining on us, Eli! Keep pouring it on! We just need some room to breathe. Uh, almost there. Almost there! Now, Pronta! Kimol to Team Pronto. Operation Kimol is a success. We couldn't have done this without you, Twist. Me? It was your plan. My plan was just a piece of it. Everybody chipped in. That's what family does. Stop. Why? I mean, okay, it's a little sappy, but it's true. No! Stop! We're gonna crash! The brakes! It's not working! I thought you said we'd have enough room to stop this thing! Well, we didn't plan on going this fast! Run, Poe! We'll save you! <laughs> Come on, 
Everybody, slow us down. <laughs> Cord. We should be celebrating. I know. It's just back at the depot. How did Diablos know where we were? One second nothing, then he's right there. It's weird, right? Cord, buddy. We just pulled off a once-in-a-lifetime heist. You gotta learn not to sweat the small stuff. I'm an engineer, bro. I'm all about the small stuff. Well, there's nothing small about this. I can't believe it! Black's whole supply! Oh, to see the look on Dr. Black's face! He will soon and forever rue the name Pronto! Oh, and, uh, well, yours as well. But mostly, Pronto! These will be cool here for a few days. In the meantime, I suggest we bail and find somewhere to lay low. You mean we're not staying? I want us gone in five. We'll come back when we know it's... Safe. Dr. Black sends his regards. This whole thing was a setup, and we fell for it! Survive first, blame later. <laughs> Come out, children. I promise a quick oblivion. Proto does not want a quick oblivion. Proto prefers his oblivion slow and gradual. We're sitting ducks out here. Take Twist and find some higher ground. We'll cover you. We'll surprise them and make the charge up the middle together. Right behind you. Now! one of my dad's hideouts. Eli, we have to keep moving. You miss him, don't you? There's nothing more important than family, Twist. to get to Eli. Listen to me. Back at the cool depot, something wasn't right. It was Loki. On the monitor, Loki should have appeared as a regular slug, not a ghoul. Its illusions only work on living things, not cameras. Unless he actually was a ghoul who dropped his illusion for the scam. That's why a slug like Loki can cast such powerful illusions. And why he avoided Doc's touch. Doc can't heal without reaching velocity, but he'd still recognize the ghoul in Loki right away. That means... Eli, this is Trixie. You have to get out of there. It's Twist. Eli, do you read? I said Twist is working for Black. Is it true? That must be a yes. Are you gonna tell me why? I haven't decided yet. You Shanes, so predictable. Well, you jumped at the chance to leave Black's Dark Water down here where no one would ever find it. Well, now, 
That's exactly what's going to happen to you. Toss the blaster. Then turn around so I can see your face. Loki's a ghoul? I wasn't the only one playing you. I gotta hand it to you, Twist. Even had the rest of your slugs fooled. You know they'll never follow you now, right? Cry me a river. I have all the ghouls I need. We have to find a way into those tunnels. Perhaps if I talk to them. After all, Pronto is a skilled negotiator. <coughs> Diplomacy has failed! A Shane without his blaster? That's a sad sight. Yeah, well, I still have my slugs. Oh, that's one thing you should know about me by now, Eli. Never challenge me in hand to hand. Diablos is our number one problem. Take him out, and we can get to Eli. Yes, I agree. What we need is a plan. A crafty, surprising, clever... Rush him! <laughs> Rush him? Rush him is not a plan! How could you do this, Twist? You were like family to me. Family? Like a Shane could understand that word. <laughs> What are you talking about? Your father is the reason I'm an orphan. It was only a few slugs. We weren't hurting anyone. He could have just left us alone. He had to be the hero, like you. Remember what I said earlier? About misdirection? Like this. Never say never. We will do the Molinoid Long Bomb. But that's just a legend. Not anymore. On my three. One, two, three. Ah! I know how you feel, Twist. I lost my dad, too. You have no idea how I feel. So this is all just for revenge? You want to end up like Black? I'm a survivor, Eli. All my life, I've known the game is rigged. So I like to make sure I'm on the winning team. And from where I'm standing, that's Black. Plain as day. It's about power, Eli. That's something both your dad and Black understood. Face it, you don't even know which one of us to shoot. Who says I have to choose?
Where is he? It's okay, Cord. I think he's gone. Something tells me it's not the last we'll see of him. Let's go home. So, what does everybody feel like eating tonight? Oh, I know. Newt mucus stew. No? Steamed corn beetles, please? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just order something in. Dinner is served. Eli, you all right, bro? It's not like you to turn down a home-cooked meal. Especially a non-insect meal, which I will point out are rare from Pronto. <laughs> it's fine. It just doesn't feel the same somehow. Eli, he did try to kill us. Agreed. Pronto does not have many rules, but I throw the light at people who try to kill me. It is extremely rude! The point being, you can't let him get to you. All of us were fooled. Maybe. But I know there was good in Twist. He just has to realize he's not alone here. I just hope we can help him see that before it's too late. So after considerable time and money, you return to me with nothing. The Shane Gang escaped, and the son of Will Shane remains at large. I got them to the cavern, just like I promised. I am not interested in excuses, boy. I am interested in results. And you, have you anything to say for yourself? Nope. Then you will fail me no more. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> Remember your promise. We'll meet again, Black. <laughs> And as for you, good work. There will be other opportunities for revenge, Twist. You did as I expected you to under the circumstances. Now I have valuable intelligence on Eli Shane and his associates. Ah, not to mention a new apprentice. Oh, and Twist. You saw today what happens to people who do fail me. For your sake, don't make a habit of it. Coming soon. The movie event of the year. Attack of the 50-foot slug. <laughs> The journey back to the others from the snack shack is more difficult than I uh, expected. Luckily, I have supplies to sustain me. <laughs> I can't enjoy this without popcorn. Are you kidding, Cord? This place is awesome. Totally. Giant screen, killer sound, snow dance cavern rocks. Even with the ice ogres. Ice ogres? What are they, the guys who make the snow cones at the snack shack? Ice ogres are the carnivores who live inside that glacier. Oh, right because that makes so much more sense. Relax, bro, it's winter. They're hibernating. Ah, yeah, <laughs> finally. Yes, the journey was long and arduous, but behold the bounty Pronto has procured. <laughs> ah. Alas, since the journey was so long and arduous, Pronto was forced to consume most of the bounty. I'm gonna be forced to consume you if I don't get me some popcorn. Oh no, my friend. You would never return from such a journey. Only a Molinoid can navigate the treacherous maze to... The Snack Shack. The movie's starting. Well, here we are. Just me and you. And I can't remember if I have one slug left or two. Oh, come on. You can't hold a blaster like that. It ruined the trajectory. Shh. You're going to tell Max Jackson how to shoot? He's only like the biggest action star ever. They say it's impossible for directors to get him to do what they want. I bet you got what it takes. Yeah, well, it's a long way from making videos for the slug net to working with a star like that. But somehow, someday, a movie I shoot is gonna be on that screen. 
Hey! You're blocking my view! I'll park my NECA where I want to park. And I want to park right where you are. Hey, keep it down. I'm trying to watch... The Hula Gang? The Shane Gang? Well, looks like we got ourselves a standoff. <laughs> Look, Billy, we're just here to watch a movie. Let's not ruin it for everyone. Okay, then how about I just ruin it for you? Make sure you film all this, camera girl. I want everyone to see the Hula Gang beat the Shane Gang. <laughs> Here. Someone's gonna get hurt. Someone is. You. Oh no, it sounds like Pronto is missing all the good parts of the movie. What's your problem? After the last time we met, we got fired by Dr. Black because of you. I'd consider that doing you a favor. <laughs> Thanks. You're finished, Jackson. You're finished, Shane. <laughs> What are you doing? See those cracks? We'll all be buried under a mountain of ice if this thing comes tumbling down. Ha! Eat slug, Shane! <laughs> Stop! We gotta take this outside, Billy. If that ice wall falls, it'll crush us all. I told you, I'm not stopping till I win. Now, if you wanna surrender, then fine. <laughs> Stop! Okay! Okay, fine, I, I give up. Duel's over, okay? You win. Just stop shooting. Woo you see that? I won! I beat the Shane Gang! Woo! Didn't you hear what Eli said? Of course I heard him. He said, I give up. Dude, we all gotta chill here. Those cracks are totally messing with the glacier's structural integrity. We're probably okay, as long as... as... Yeah, you probably don't need to finish that sentence. Looks like hibernation's over. So, what did Pronto miss? Pronto! Yes, I know, the surround sound is impressive. I know, but you told me this movie was in smell vision And the special effects are absolutely incredible, even without the... <laughs> Guys, no! This glacier's not stable! We got bigger problems! You're right! We do have bigger problems! to you. Huh. I guess he doesn't like Max Jackson's acting. Come on. Go ahead. Try me. What happened to the movie? Uh, the show's over. Uh, the exit is that way. Everybody out! Yeah, hurry. <laughs> You're the last ones. No refunds. Yeah! Oh! Perhaps it was hoping for a refund. 
Come on! Where do you think you're going? Don't you ever give up? You're the ones who give up, remember? That's why I'm taking this little pit stop before getting out of here. I'll take that. Hey! You got proof my gang's better than the Shane gang. When I put it up on the slug net, everyone will see. Eli giving up a duel to protect people? Oh, and look at him now. Saving that guy while you just sit around like a flopper slug. Just keep that camera pointed at me. I'll show you who's the man. What do we do? Hitting it with slugs only made it bigger. Then we gotta get creative. <laughs> 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 Good news is, now we know it's not just hitting it. Anything that makes it angry makes it bigger. This is good news! Hop on! We're all getting out of here. <laughs> just like the Shane Gang, running from the fight! <laughs> Wait, no! What are you doing? I'm trying to prove he's better than you. Yeah, well, he's definitely better at making that thing bigger. Most slugs only anger the ogre. You can't beat him without the soothing song of the Slyron Slug. Slyron Slug? Where do we get one of those? Oh, there's a whole big nest of them deep inside the ice ogre's lair, yeah. Go! We'll try to slow it down. That'll slow him down. Let's go! You filming this, camera girl? Every single frame. I want everyone to see how the hula gang stopped this thing while Eli Shane ran like a chicken. <laughs> oh, this is too good. A man! What's trapped? Entrance just caved in! Because of you? What are you blaming me for? I'm the only one here trying to slug this thing! Get to cover! Everyone into the snack shack! <laughs> we need that Slyron slug. We're not gonna have time to find it if we don't shore up the glacier. If it falls, it'll crush the whole cavern. All the more reason we need to escape! All right, we're all too to get tunnel. But I will need some help. What you all need to do is be quiet. You're throwing off my aim. That's not going to work. You got to listen. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'd ever take orders from losers like you. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let them go. Maybe they can at least keep that thing busy. I'll go for the Slyron. You guys take care of the rest. Singing? We're gonna need to get across the hard way. Oh, this is oh, so gross. Look over here! Woo! You getting this? Woohoo! Stop! You're leaving it right on top of us! Yeah? Well, I wouldn't have to if you'd come over here and film me! Woohoo! <laughs> we are never getting out of here alive, are we? <sighs> I don't know why I'm so <sighs> tired suddenly. Burpee. It must be that <sighs> singing. <sighs> the Slyrens. Come on. <sighs> 
<sighs> hey there, little guy. I need your help. <sighs> Whew. Okay, good. Now I'm up. <sighs> Unfortunately, it looks like it's just in time for breakfast. me now! on camera? Just like Max Jackson, right? Ah! Will you stop growing? Ah! Too bad he isn't an actor. At least then we could direct him to do what we want. Yeah, if we had a movie director. Yeah, well, lucky for us, we kind of do. Now that was totally Max Jackson-esque. Yeah, I know. I gotta admit it, you're a natural. The camera eats you up. This is too good not to get on film. Except for... Except for what? There's just something a little off. It's three of you fighting against the one monster. Uh. Ever seen Badder Than Bad? <laughs> Only 15 times. I've seen it 16. Watch out! Does Max ever have anyone helping him? Fat chance. Max Jackson always works alone. Exactly. Your friends are just stealing the spotlight. I can't focus on you. Tell them to help dig the boring tunnel and seal up those cracks. This is your big Max Jackson moment. Yeah! I'm the star, not them. All right, you punks, listen up. Glasses, you're with the blue turkey. Seal up those cracks. Shorty, do what that mole's doing. Actors, play to their ego, and it works every time. And action! Hey, snot face! You think you're pretty cool? How about you take some of this snow and flake? Get it? Flake, like a snowflake, because he's an ice ogre. <laughs> I got this action hero thing down. Yeah, except action heroes usually win. So what should I do? Wait, I got it. How about I shoot it with more slugs? Uh, no, that makes it bigger. How about try not shooting it? If I don't shoot it, what do I do? I don't know. I can't see Max Jackson doing this. Are you kidding me? This is cinematic gold. Embrace the popcorn. Be the popcorn. I got a better idea. Get me finishing him off with a ramstone slug. No! <laughs> We are doomed. Trixie! We're saved! Nah, you were right the first time. We're doomed. He's got the Slyron! Shoot it! I can't! I only have one! 
Okay, we just gotta get our ochre together with those. Then he can shoot them all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, right. So Eli can be the hero? What's in that for me? Uh, how about getting out of this cave alive? Uh. Billy, wait! Move! Into the projection booth! <laughs> Need a new plan here. I can't use a Slyron on all of them with half of them chasing after Billy. Uh. to help us before and I can do it again hey where are you going it's only a 10,000 pound flesh eating monster Couldn't have done it better. Pronto could have, but I was occupied with the even more crucial task of securing our exit. <laughs> Which I have done. Glacia's is all fixed too. Solid as a rock. Hey, and you got one of your movies on the big screen. Yeah, turns out we have a real movie director here after all. Thanks. The next time, I want to work with a better cast. Yeah, well, I'm totally beat, and so are all my slugs. I'm just glad it's all over. It's not over! Oh, come on, Billy. It is over. We took out the ogres. You didn't do anything. I was the one on screen. You all saw what happened. I was the one who got all the ogres together, so I was the one who saved the day. And once everyone sees what I did, no one will ever think the Shane Gang's better than my gang. So hand over the camera. Unless you want me to kick your butts again. No problem, Billy. There's just one more shot we'd need to really sell it. The hula gang standing on top of the defeated ogres. Glad there's one Shane ganger with some brains. Come on, guys. Make sure you get my good side. Ah, who are we kidding? Every side of me is... <sighs> Wait, <gasps> why am I so... <sighs> you know, this might be your best work yet. Yep, can't wait for everyone to see this when I post it on the slug net. And that's a wrap.
Can I help you? How'd you know I was here? I disabled your alarm. Maybe. But this place has all sorts of eyes and ears. <laughs> so, you want to play with slugs, huh? Destroy the place! Settle this if you just tell us what you want. I want what's mine. Thought a little soap might help clean up this mess. There's nowhere to run, so now might be the time to tell us why Black sent you before my friend gets trigger happy. Black? I don't work with that slug turd. I work alone. You can't hide it forever. Wait! Hide what? Who are you? I want my share of that treasure. Treasure? <laughs> and I promise you, I'll get it. Does anyone know who that was? I'm still going with one of Black's lackeys. I don't know. No real reason to lie about that. And she wasn't using ghoul slugs. But what treasure could she be talking about? Obviously, she was after the legendary Shane treasure. Well, if it's so legendary, how come I've never heard of it? This wouldn't be the first time your dad kept something secret from you. Just think, you could have a vast fortune hidden somewhere. You could be rich! Rich? Rich? I don't know. My dad talked about caches of stuff hidden around Slugterra, things I'll need someday. But I think it would have said something about a fortune. Some of it could be hidden here, right under our noses. <sighs> hmm. More secrets, huh? Okay, but I'm not sure how or even where. Allow me. Haven't seen one of these in ages. The thing's been coated with smolten. Only way we're getting this baby open is with a forge smelter slug. Oh, but we don't have one of those. Well, where can we find one? Oh, we would have to travel to the deepest regions of the magma caverns. It's way too dangerous. It's basically all molten lava. And don't forget the magma monsters. And the ferocious lava bats that will swoop down and gorge themselves on my sweltering brains. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Let's load up, gang. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So, Eli, you don't find it at all ridiculous that your dad not only expected you to find that chest without instructions, but he didn't even leave you a way to open it if you found it? Uh, my dad always liked me to figure things out for myself. And you're cool with this? It doesn't matter whether or not I'm cool with it. It's just the way it is. Flatulorinkus! Oh, nice one! Um, how are we supposed to cross an ocean of lava? Never fear! Pronto the Magnificent shall drain the Sea of Fire! Now! <coughs> I, uh, I mean, now! Pronto! How did you... Magnificent? Eh? Uh, also, the lava tide goes in and out every hour on the hour like clockwork. Uh, so, if we are to do this ridiculous crazy thing and get ourselves some sweet, sweet treasure, we must embark immediately. The drowning in fire clock is already ticking. Fifty-nine minutes! Yoink. Hmm. What is it, Eli? I thought I saw... Nothing. I just can't stop wondering who that thief was and how she could have known about this chest. Whoever she was, she couldn't possibly be dumb enough to come here. We own that level of dumbness. Surviving the magma caverns is slow and steady. But didn't you say we had to hurry? Might want to keep it down, too. Don't want to wake any magma monsters. Ah, only a fool would be afraid of a silly little... We'll, uh, <laughs> have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry before the lava tide comes back in. Remember, slow and steady. Seriously, it's almost like he expected you to go on this crazy mission. <laughs> Fire geyser! You think? Fire geysers give a warning hiss before the blast, so there shouldn't be a big problem if we go... Slow and steady, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh-oh. Go, go, go! Behold, the fabled Forge Smelter Chamber. Well, let's find one quick and get out of here. Huh? Or you can just give me that chest. 
since I've got the only key. You think that's the only slug in this cavern? The only one you're gonna find. I just unleashed a frost crawler and scared off all the others. Oh, it took me hours before they return! But the lava tide will be back a whole lot sooner. So, you gonna give me my share of that treasure, or are we all gonna boil? She's got nerve. I'll give her that. Look, I don't know who you are or why you think you have dibs on anything in that chest. My name's Dana Poor. And if that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps this will. You recognize that man with your dad? Yeah, that's Tom... Poor. He's your father, isn't he? My dad talked about him all the time. They were like best friends. Until he betrayed my dad. Betrayed Will Shane? Huh. Your dad obviously didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Ah, my dad's been known to leave out a detail or two. Well, my dad didn't. He was Will Shane's recon man, and he was the best there was at getting information. And all of that valuable info went to Will Shane. This helped him stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They were a great team. But my dad knew something wasn't right about Will Shane. He would disappear for days at a time and never have an explanation for where he went. Will Shane was keeping a lot of secrets. So, my dad decided to start watching your father. He was hiding treasure, treasure he promised to share with my dad. But that wasn't the worst of it. Will Shane was working with the enemy. My dad would never work for Black. Not Black. Even worse, the Shadow Clan. When my father confronted him about this, Will denied everything, except the treasure part. So my father became angry and challenged your dad to a duel. And we all know what happens when you challenge Will Shane to a duel. Which is why you're gonna give me his cut. Huh? Dana, I can't believe my father would do that. But I also can't always explain or understand his actions. Uh, Pluto finds this all very moving, but he would also like to remind you that the lava tide will return soon. <laughs> so, uh... I don't care about gold. If that's all you're after, I'll give you a share. If you give us a slug so we can get out of here. Uh, yes, yes, uh, get out of here. <laughs> no, we open it here, right now. And there's little time to argue, so let's get to it. Fine. It's just a bunch of junk. What is all this? You're trying to scam me? Worthless, trash, junk. Told you there was no fortune. Though I was hoping there would be too. Maybe I can melt this thing down for something. The Shadow Clan. They're coming. Ugh. Shadow Clan, huh? Yeah, they get here so fast. Who cares? Let's make them leave. <laughs> oh, the Lava Tide is coming! Come on! Get out of here! <laughs> Come on, Eli! I'm coming! Go big, Burpee!
was a scrap no move. Way to level up, little guy. No slow and steady this time. Well, hello. Welcome back. These guys are unstoppable! <laughs> so, uh, remember what I said about crossing that bridge when we come to it? Want me to put this on? Did you see what happened to Dana? <laughs> Please don't fry my brain. It belongs to us. Are you talking to me? Who are you that you can withstand the power of the Shadow Talker? The Shadow Talker? The circlet on your brow. It allows communication between the wearer and the Shadow Clan. But not all can survive its mind-bending force. So again, we inquire. Who are you? you? Uh, I'm Eli Shane. Uh, uh, my father was Will Shane. Uh, Will Shane. Uh, your father could not handle the Shadow Talker's full strength. And it appears you aren't ready to wear it just yet. But we will allow you to keep it for the day when you are ready. Now, remove it before it takes your mind. Wait! Who are you people? What do you want? The same thing all Shanes want including your father. And so, we will meet again. Wait! What did my father want? <sighs> Eli! Dude! <sighs> How did you escape the Shadow Clan? I'm still trying to figure out what happened myself. They just... left. You know, it might be a lot easier if we figure it out together. Huh? Well, to start with, 
This thing allowed me to talk to them. No way. It did what? I put it on just like Dana and... Wait, where is Dana? No clue. I turned back to check on her and she was just... gone. For now, I have a feeling we'll see her again. My dad kept all these things hidden for a reason. That was his treasure. And I don't think Dana Poor is done hunting for what she thinks is hers. The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real. And after years of searching, I, Garivel, have found the way. <laughs> If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make history. He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good. Trix, I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with... This? Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition! Has anyone else seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slugs, no mechs, <gasps> no molenoids. Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold! Oh, there will be gold, of course. We must go and hear this Ravel out for exploration. Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please, 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 please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! I, I mean, go. Great. Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah. You see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. Uh, uh, four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. Watch yourself, Molenoid. 
Eli, that's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. And I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope, uh, we're fine. Sorry. No problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trex, stop helping. You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people. Burpee! No! No, stop it! You're ruining everything! to run now, Molinoid! Everybody stop! Hey! Hmm? An Inferno slug? Only one person has such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm... Eli Shane! Of course you are, of course you are! <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Just excellent. Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail! Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that... Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These were the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then, I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. Oh, try to get rid of them, so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. <laughs> I know you guys must think I'm crazy. But I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. <sighs> Had to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand, right? the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. <laughs> the Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar. 
in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A uh, Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join God's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract, <laughs> my own concoction, from my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. <laughs> I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many, and even in those who don't, most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. Maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? But that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. <laughs> help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. After him! All my research is in that book! <laughs> Tell the men, grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. <laughs> Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me! I gotta win at least one game. Eh, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Dragon!
us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure, Rodel! Fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre! <laughs> not today! Listen to me, all of you! You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key! First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! I think there's even more of them than before! Burpee, man the auto blasters! <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli! My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now's not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah? You mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You're joking, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Eli, we can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No, I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again, they never seem to listen to me. One in a million. You wanted me, now you got me! It's over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point-blank range? I don't think so. Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair! I was so close! Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. Uh, wait! It's not over! Uh, this is just a setback! They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't! I I'll find another way. You Go just need... Go away, Gar. It's over. Wait! Wait! Where are you going? You just need to get... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened... It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane's secrets, right? I want to show you something. 
When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the Drop. It's how I got here. It leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Uh, the Burning World? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's going to be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Yeah, are there molinoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? Take out Dr. Black's guards. Consider them taken. I'll wrap up lock and load before they can deliver that thing to Dr. Black. We have no idea what that thing does, Eli. For all we know, it could be lunch. Somehow I doubt it. We can bring them down together. Dude, you had it backwards. Looks like we're the ones headed down.
chiller! Everyone okay? Yeah, thanks to Chiller. Chiller! <laughs> Eli, we gotta go. If Lock and Low get that lunchbox to Black. I know. Burpee, we'll see you guys back at the hideout. <laughs> Long before us, no doubt. It's as if slugs have their own secret way of getting around Slugterra. A way they refuse to share with Pronto! Stopping them with glimmer and suds. Then allow me. Blow them away, Bluster. Just keep riding. I'll deal with Dr. Black. Why didn't you do that before? I didn't mean to blow it up. As long as Lock and Load won't be bringing it to Black. I think we can call it a win. Though I'd like to be celebrating with the rest of my slugs. Don't worry, Eli. Slugs always find their way back home. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure when we get there, we'll find Burpee and the others already at the clubhouse. Kicking back and relaxing. through this cavern dozens of times on our way home before. Somehow it seems different. Hmm, indeed. Last time I was here, the town was fat and happy. So it was, stranger. Until Munch showed up, at least. Munch? Coming to town, big as a boulder and dumb as a sack of hammers, and ate us out of house and home. Why not just kick the bum out on his, you know, uh, bum? Cause no one beats Munch! You and your slugs challenging Munch to a duo? If you leave this cavern and never come back when I beat you, then yeah, I'll duel ya. Uh, Eli? And not now, Trixie, I'm trash talking. Ow! Trixie, what? You're slugs. You're a few short, remember? Uh, no problem. I'll lend you bludgeon. And Pronto will give you the honor of fighting with my Flanchurorinkis. Ah! His nasty stank. No! <laughs> no ringers! You said you and your slugs gonna do a much, and that's what you're gonna do! That is what you agreed to, Eli. <laughs> After much beats Eli Shane, much will be king of the caverns! <laughs> <sighs> Smart move there, Eli. Now I gotta duel a guy with a bandolier of powered up bruisers, while Burpee and the others are probably back home. Taking a bath.
you guys really think you can get to the clubhouse and back with Burpee and the other slugs in time? We're already there, Eli. Wait! What? Burpee and other slugs? Mike already told you. No ringers! Burpee's my slug. He's just not here. Yet. No. Too bad, because we duel now! Time for the legendary Molinoid stall. <clears throat> you certainly have enjoyed those succulent leg parts. I believe a mouth-watering dessert would fill those final corners of your impressive stomach. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Much get it! You tried a legendary Molinoid stall? Well, it won't work! Much is smarter than he looks! Uh, and that is... not saying much. Thanks, Pronto. But I agreed to this duel. Glimmer and Suds here may not pack as much firepower as Burpee or Jules, but we can fight them off until Cord and Tricks get back. No problem, right? That's what you've got. <laughs> Tell him that you were responsible? Huh. I imagine that we'll become ghoul chow! <gasps> Brother, I believe that Dame Fortune has indeed smiled upon us. 
because I cannot imagine anything making Dr. Black happier than turning Eli Shane's best slug into a ghoul. pair of boots. Just pursue those vermin or I'll give you the boots. Sometimes I can't believe we're related. is right, boys. Where do you lads think you're going? <laughs> Anywhere we want, mall cop. <laughs> oh, lost her big brother. <laughs> Not for long. See, that's a nice mecha beast. <laughs> are useless, hit them with something else! Oh, and looking good! Yeah. My slugs aren't useless. I just gotta figure out the right way to use them. <laughs> Lather it up, suds! <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with Sun. I'm confident that Dr. Black would be equally satisfied if we merely brought in the heads of the Shane Brat slugs. Dipped on the burny one. Could have lasted another minute. Where's Burpee? Sorry, Eli. 
But if they're not coming, then... Maybe we can't win, but you guys ready to go down trying? Slugs? Uh, yeah. No way! You lasted this long with two floppers? No way much is fighting slugs who can do that! Much is out of here! Don't listen to him. You guys aren't floppers. You did me proud. I'm glad you guys are okay. But where were you? Um... They were obviously just goofing off. That's what slugs always do when you're not watching. Well, lucky for you, lazy slugs, Pronto was here to use his mighty brains and save the day. But what were you doing? Lazing around, goofing off. The Slugterra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. Doesn't that lift your spirits? <laughs> hey, uh... <clears throat> Once I work the bugs out of my zero-G machine, Slug Terror will own the air. Catherine's ideas about Sonics are worth listening to. Sound is invisible, but its effects can be powerful. <laughs> what about me, Professor? Aren't you gonna show Mr. Moneybags my invention? Ah, uh, Dr. Kolowski has been researching artificial slug technology. Sir, don't pay any attention to Quentin's unfounded research. Let me show you more about my work. I thought we told you never to come back here, you and your crazy robots. Oh, you'll never get rid of me. Your anti-gravity machine will never amount to anything, Tobias! <laughs> <laughs> Nor will your pathetic sound amplifier. <laughs> now, let's talk about the future. My future, to be specific. We need help. As of this moment, all research will be directed by me. Eli Shane, we need you, now! The only science in this cavern is my science! Behold! My robo-slugs! Furia Cavern. Always wanted to see this place. Ah, science is vastly overrated. Pronto has no need for facts. I go with my gas. <laughs> and my gas tells me it's past my lunchtime. If these so-called scientists are such geniuses, where do they put all the restaurants? 
Where did they put all the people? And I don't see any slugs either. The slugs are all hiding. I'm Catherine McGregor. You're the one who called about the rogue scientist. Quinton's always been a little quirky. This time, he's crossed the line. Anyone try to stand up to this guy? We're scientists, not slug slingers. That's why we called you. Yeah, good point. I envision a world where the only slugs people use are my robo-slugs. To that end, anyone found with a live slug will be punished. I don't have to listen to this madness. I'm not finished yet! Yeah, actually, I think you are. I was hoping we could reason this out, but you're kind of beyond reason, aren't you? I prefer to say that I'm beyond your understanding, Eli Shane. Oh, yes, I know who you are. Then you know how I work. I'm gonna give you one chance to do the right thing and apologize to all these people. Otherwise... Otherwise, we do all... That's right. Oh, this will be fun. I'm gonna blast that nasty thing right off your shoulder. <laughs> I think you just insulted my slugs. Bad idea. Species, Infernus. Attack modes, flash fire, Infernus, Nova Claw. Downloading countermeasures to Roboslug Brain Matrix. <laughs> You were beaten before you began. I've downloaded databases on every slinger who's ever shot a slug. You, your friends, even your father, the great Will Shane. He'd have beaten you in a minute. Might take me too. Your father was a slug lover, just like you. <laughs> He successfully used that identical arachnid move in 17 different duels. Your attempt, however, has failed. And my robo-slugs will continue to triumph over your weak, disgusting slugs and tired old tactics. Then I guess I'll have to show you some new tactics. Uh, what? Uh, no match found. What, what is he? Smart slug slinging will beat mad science every time, Quentin. It's over. Over? Ha! You won't believe what I'll bring when I come back. Um, you're still here. Huh? Ha! That's right! You slink away, scoundrel, while your batters... No, uh, while your batters look for lunch. We better get ready for this guy. I sure don't think he's gone for good. He's probably back at his secret lab. Get real, Cord. You've been watching too many fiction vids. Not all scientists have secret labs. The great Eli Shane and his wonderful slugs thinks he has all the answers. Well, wait till he sees what mad science can do. I'll show him big like he's never seen. God, there must be some food around here. I, I, what is, oh, hang on, quit. Ah! I bet he's got some kind of super doomsday weapon he's gonna spring on us. Ha! Let him bring his super weapon of doom. Once Pronto fills his mighty stomachs, he will be the match of any foe. 
Now, a more pressing problem. Did anyone bring a can opener? <laughs> And my day just got worse. Oh, you have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Round two, slug lovers! Make us now! <laughs> Take that thing down fast! <laughs> Stay alive! <laughs> Frostcrawler slug, fireball defense. <laughs> Flopper slug. Defense needed. Yeah. I had to try. He's gotta have a weak spot. <laughs> Cheap shot, Trixie. But I don't have any weak spots. While well, you and your pathetic meatbag slugs are just one enormous weak spot. <laughs> Say it, but retreat. <laughs> That's it. Run, slug lovers. Run from my superior technology. You see, not even Eli Shane can protect you from me. Well, that was humiliating. Nothing to be ashamed about. Quentin's got awesome tech, but that doesn't make him better. My hop rock couldn't even get near the guy. Hey, 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 yeah. Uh, why are you beating that innocent rock there, Pronto? Perhaps I should pitch this stubborn can against something harder, like your thick troll skull. Glad you made it away safely. But you aren't safe here with all that banging. Yeah. It, it, Quiet, Quiet, Pronto. Pronto. Uh -huh. I've got a place nearby where we can regroup. Ooh, a secret lab, perhaps? Oh, please. Uh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> All us scientists have secret labs. So what's the deal with Quentin? He really hates slugs. He doesn't just hate them. He's terrified of them. Really? That's good to know. Ever since the accident when we were kids. It was during a field trip to the slug biology department. Quentin always considered a locked door as a challenge. He was in there for two days before they found him. He was never the same since. And all his science has been about finding a way to live without slugs. Yeah, slugophobia. There's got to be an angle there. Ah, exasperating recalcitrant can! You frustrate me with your tenacious kin perimeter! Okay... Pronto, you're a genius! Yes? I am? Oh, yes! Of course I am! I think I figured out a way to beat Quentin, but we're gonna need some high-tech help. I believe we have that covered. And even more importantly, we need you to buy us some time. I've got a few ideas in that regard. This is boring. What's the point of being superior if I can't lord it over everyone? Eli Shane! I'm ready for round three! Are you? He's busy right now. But I've got something for you. <laughs> ah! Again with the anti-grav! When are you gonna learn? That's nothing compared to me! Uh, I don't even have to waste a robo-slug on your pebble! As smart as you think you are, you still end up throwing rocks like a savage. Pitiful. Run, little savage. Run! You can't escape the superior man! 
And that's all you have to remember. But don't worry, Noodle. You're gonna do great. I have my doubts that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Tobias is down. I'm going in. Remember, just stall him. Don't try and be a hero. And don't get yourself hurt. Excellent advice. Ugh. Back to the drawing board! <laughs> What's wrong, Tobias? Nothing clever to say. I've got something to say. Oh, this, this will, will be fun. <laughs> That must be Kate. Don't ever get into a shouting match with her. Cord, you about done? Good to go. Saddle up, guys. Time to take this big brain bully to school. Shane Gang style. Let me go, Quentin! Your harpy's voice was even less pleasant at 400 decibels. Put her down, Quentin! Mecha Mech is gonna kick your Mecha Mech's iron butt! Drop her easy and raise your hands, Quentin. Shut you down. <laughs> In that thing? I've been perfecting this suit for years. How long did you spend cobbling that wreck together? Five minutes? Forty-five minutes, smart guy. It will take me less time than that to disassemble it. Critical systems intact. Barely. with a triple combo. Ice attack. Infernus defense downloaded. Been there, done that. Retargeting. <laughs> Oh, yeah! High five, Trixie! You know, a thing about slugs is you have to find them, train them, take care of them. Why do all that when you can simply manufacture an endless supply? Which is exactly what I have! Big first coming in, dodge right! No, go left! Uh, my right or, or your right? Trixie, Cord, you've got another arm. Use it. Oh, man. Can I worry now? Just so you know, this plan has an 87% probability of ending in disaster. Eli's doing his part. We have to focus on ours. The question remaining is how much longer I extend your suffering. This big baby's not gonna keep walking for long. Well, technically, this is called a death hop. Losing control here. So am I. I am in 
complete control! Well, that's just embarrassing. I think I'll put you out of your misery. Try it! <laughs> Points for tenacity. <laughs> or is it just delusion? Either way, I want to look you in the eye when I break you in two. You thought we were building a robot to beat yours? In 45 minutes? How dumb do you think we are? We were just building a can opener. And you were cocky enough to let me get close enough to do this. All yours, Noodle. <laughs> Flopper slug on me! <laughs> Showtime! <laughs> Over here, smart guy, where it all began. Where it ends, for you anyway. Gonna draw? Blaster's empty. I used all my slugs to get this far. Come here. I want to look you in the eye when I beat you. <laughs> when you beat me with your non-existent blaster and your imaginary slugs? Just because my blaster's empty doesn't mean I'm out of slugs. Huh? Nice work, guys. You didn't even have to transform. That was sweet, Eli. Glad this thing held together as long as it That's a good start. The magistrate's on his way. I imagine you'll have volumes to say to him. I, I know it's here. There must be an easier way to open a can of beans. all yours. Hey, you're not my lawyer. Figured that out pretty quick. I heard you were smart. And you know, Quentin, I can use a few smart men. <laughs> <laughs> 